From Britain's The Guardian, the Central Asian state of Uzbekistan is a nightmarish world of rampant corruption, organized crime, forced labor and torture, according to leaked cables from whistleblower website WikiLeaks. But the secret dispatches reveal that the United States tries to keep President Islam Karimov sweet because he allows a crucial U.S. military supply line to run into Afghanistan, known as the Northern Distribution Network. Many dispatches focus on the behavior of Karimov's glamorous and highly controversial daughter, Gulnara, who is bluntly described by them as, quote, the single most hated person in the country. She allegedly bullied her way into gaining a slice of virtually every lucrative business in the country and is viewed, they say, as a robber baron. Granted diplomatic status by her father, Gulnara allegedly lives much of the time in Geneva or in Spain. She also sings pop songs, designs jewelry, and is listed as a professor at Tashkent's University of World Economy and Diplomacy. But the U.S. secret cables go some way toward explaining Western ambivalence. They detail how the dictatorial president recently flew into a rage because Secretary of State Hillary Clinton presented a Women of Courage Award in Washington to Uzbek human rights campaigner Mutabar Tajibayeva. Karamov's displeasure alarmed the embassy. Quote, we have a number of important issues on the table right now, including the Afghanistan transit framework. According to the cables, Karamov had implicitly threatened to suspend transit of cargo for U.S. forces in Afghanistan. Norland claimed to have calmed Karamov down on that occasion, but warned Washington, quote, clearly pressuring him, especially publicly, could cost us transit. The U.S. Embassy reported that there are, quote, close connections between organized crime and the government of Uzbekistan. They said both public and private sector jobs are routinely bought.